What is a woman? In these times, there are now many different attributes that one can use to identify as a woman. In the end, anyone can now be a woman by simply proclaiming it. And what saddens my heart is the fact that our givers of life, our priests, our prophets, our mothers, our edifiers, our helpers are being pushed aside. Their very worth are being watered down to levels that are nearly non-existent. Society has chosen to go directly against God and set new parameters as to what a woman is, even going as far as allowing people to seek out ways to physically transform their outer appearance to replicate that of our female counterparts. If someone says, well, even though you may look like a woman, you're not, then all hell breaks loose. But for me, I wait upon the day that these blasphemies cause heaven to break loose, because that will be a sight to speak upon for all eternity. A woman of God is someone who is truly separated, a precious gemstone, a fiery mouthpiece of God. As she fears the Lord, she is to be praised. From the moment the sun begins to rise, she is not moved because God is in the midst of her. She is not the weaker of the creation because she daily dresses herself with strength and makes her arms strong. She opens her hand to the poor and reaches out her hands to the needy. She is not afraid of snow for her household, for all her household are clothed in scarlet. She is one that adorns a hidden beauty of the heart that produces both a gentle and quiet spirit of which God truly adores. They are blessed because they believe. She is more precious than jewels and nothing I could ever desire compares to her. She opens her mouth with wisdom and the teaching of kindness is on her tongue. In the beginning, God created man and woman to be a helpmate to one another, to be fruitful and multiply with one another, to oversee and subdue with one another. And now society is looking to remove this divine design for the sake of another's feelings, while not considering the feelings of our Creator. But I proudly proclaim at this moment that God will not be mocked. What a man sows, he shall reap. And what is happening in our society is a direct act of defiance against our Father. If this is to continue, we will see homes fall further into a dwindling pit, tearing away at the original design of God. Young women will begin to go astray as those of wisdom are being swapped out with those of iniquity. This isn't about equality. This is about elimination. If there's one thing anyone can take away from this message, it is the following. God created all things that they may work and last and be fruitful in all things. His way has always worked out. Our way will always burn out. As Jesus laid down his life for us, we must stand for her, for she is precious, she is wonderful, she is beautiful, she is woman.